in focus. Two, uh, a veteran was giving a speech, and the two women organizers decided that what he said was so reprehensible that it had to, had to be censored. They had to censor the veteran's speech on Memorial Day. My gosh, what did he say that was so shocking? The segments of the speech the officials had an issue with revolved around how freed black slaves had honored fallen soldiers soon after the Civil War ending, uh, 1865. Presumably, the officials believed that 19th century fallen soldiers had nothing to do with the city's veterans, a plausible explanation that, if true, nevertheless highlights the nitpicking of care and culture. Um, it seems apropos of the times we're in to perhaps uh, throw up a little history, doesn't it? In short, the desire to be that controlling overshadows someone's freedom of speech and that desire of a veteran on Memorial Day. And that desire is so powerful that the poor optics of censoring a veteran on Memorial Day is apparently never considered beforehand. His speech had to be submitted for approval prior to the event, as if a Gulf War veteran is that controversial. In general, the Karen culture is one of self-centeredness in which nobody's feelings are considered, which in turn leads to a decline in society as people feel more isolated and less connected to the community. Okay, InfoWars is, um, they're very, I don't, they're not soy, and they do good stuff, but they're very careful. They call, like, they, they're doing this mistake that the milk toast MAGA moderate right does, and they, they're calling it Antifa, and these, these far-left Bolsheviks, Marxists, Marxist communists, uh, socialists, they call them fascists because they know that fascist is the trigger word in the media, it's not the right word. They're not, they're not fascists. They're communists. It's an entirely different thing. And if you insist on calling them something they're not, you're never going to so solve a problem. You're never going to have a solution unless you can correctly address the problem. The problem isn't fascism. It's Bolshevism, Marxism, communism, Karl Marx, Moses Mordecai Levy. That's the problem. So there's these careful milk toast. <sighs> like, I, they, I don't know if they do more harm. They don't do more harm than good, but... Like, eventually, if you're this soccer mom, maggotarded normie, you're going to have to find your balls and look at what's really going on. And, like, sometimes you've got to, you know, you've got to cut the cancer out, and it's not, it's just, it is what it is. Like you've got to go through the hard parts, and we're, like, we're facing these hard parts right now, and, like, calling, calling the far-left communists fascists is just playing by their rules. It doesn't make any sense.